what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video it is me d wood if you are not subscribed go ahead and subscribe if you are subscribed welcome back to the channel so today we are actually going to be playing in the james charles palette i really wanted to do a green look um i was just feeling very fall and very inspired so today i have something very out of my comfort zone i guess you can say it's out of my comfort zone <laughs> Um, if y'all have been here for a while, y'all know I really don't experiment with color. So today I decided to do something very, very green and just very fall. The look is actually not that hard. It's just a couple little shades blended all together on the lid. The skin is pretty much my typical skin. I wanted to do a matte lip, but I'm just addicted to gloss and a glossy lip is what happens. <laughs> if you guys are curious to see how I got this look, go ahead and stay tuned. All right, oh Jesus. I just spilled my primer, bro. All right, y'all, so <laughs> today has kind of sort of been a wreck. Like, I've been dropping stuff, spilling stuff, cutting myself. My goodness. But anyway. <laughs> I'm starting off with the NYX Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. Love this stuff. Whenever I use this, I don't use a moisturizer because I feel like it just does both. It primes, it moisturizes, like everything I need. I spilled a whole glob of this primer on the floor, but I'm gonna just watch out for it because I don't feel like cleaning it right now. And that's just that. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna start with my eyes today. And I think I do. I don't even know where to start because I never start with my eyes. I used to start with my eyes and then like as I kind of got more familiar with makeup, I, start, I switched over to doing my face first. So now I'm like, what do I even, how do I even do this? All right, so I'm priming my eyelids with the MAC 24 hour concealer. This is the color NC48. I like this concealer because it's really, really bright. So my shadows are gonna pick up really nice. Okay, so I'm feeling very green today. All right, so today we're gonna be working out the James Charles palette, primer all over it. <laughs> and I used to have this and it got stolen. So I had to repurchase it only because it has a lot of colors. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna start with Code James. on a really big fluffy brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a more precise blending brush and I'm gonna go into the color Daddy. And this is gonna go right in my crease. Now I have not used this palette in a long, long time. So we about to see how these colors all blend together. And I'm feeling real smoky. So I think I'm gonna throw this on my lid also. Yep, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I want this look to be very dark, so I'm sure I'm gonna have to incorporate some black. I just wipe my brush off so that I'm able to go in the crease and then I'm gonna switch back to the original crease brush and use it to blend out the edges. No extra product. I'm 
100% sure that I want to darken this. So I'm going to take a flat shader brush in the color Spooky, which is the black. And I'm gonna use it right along that lash line. Now we get in somewhere. It's starting to look like something. I'm gonna go back in with Daddy, the same brush that I used with Daddy, right over the black. start bringing this up a little bit more into the crease but when you do this you want to make sure that you're not picking up too much product back in with my first crease brush Now with the brush that we used for Spooky, I'm gonna use that same brush, a flat shader into the color Daddy. And this is gonna go on the bottom lash line. Actually, what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of concealer. And I'm gonna blend this. So that my colors can stick. And don't worry about if it's sloppy because girl I do everything sloppy and then clean it up later <laughs> I'm gonna take the same brush I'm literally just wiping it off and then going in with cold James right in this area here to blend it out this is all gonna get blended out with concealer later, so I'm not really tripping on it. But I have to have some kind of guideline. Really small pencil brush. I'm gonna dip into Spooky. And that's gonna go in the waterline. using spooky right along that lash line so everything that I do on the top I'm pretty much doing on the bottom now with a bigger pointer brush I'm gonna go in the color guac and I'm gonna add this right in the center of my lid picking up a little bit more Now I'm gonna go in the color wig. Actually, no. I'm gonna go in with the color so good. And now I'm just gonna literally put this in the center of where I put guac. I wanna create like a spotlight effect. Perfect. Okay, let me do the other side and then we'll come back and do the face. So clearly I finished the other eye. I'm loving this green, like, okay, anyway. So before you move on to your face, please make sure you clean up underneath your eye because I made the mistake and not even a mistake, I just was rushing and I was like, it'll be okay. And I start blending my concealer and whatever eyeshadow I did on my eye starts to blend into my concealer. And now the concealer is either looking gray or too green or, it just make sure you clean up underneath your eye. So to reprime underneath my eyes, I'm gonna add a little bit of the Puff Puff Primer. Just a little bit right underneath my eyes. Okay, so for foundation, my OG Studio Fix Tech. Y'all know I love this stuff. Cause the color is just so perfect. Like you don't even see where I put it. And it's so crazy because I got this prime summertime. Actually, I think it was like about to head into summer. 
and now we're getting into our lighter seasons like as far as skin tone goes and it's still matching and i think it match i think it matches so well because you don't have to pile it on like look at this side and then look at this side like it looks so pretty but i'm almost out of it i'm gonna have to get another one which is no problem but i definitely want to pick up this same shade See, this is why I be nervous about doing my, my eyes first, because I be afraid of messing up my brows. So y'all already know the drill. I'm gonna use the um, Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer in the color Rich Ebony. Ooh, that was kind of a lot. Hold on, girl, I gotta take some of that off. There we go. And then hit the chin and then the forehead. I'm gonna hit over here too because I didn't really put that much foundation. And then we take a small brush. Nothing too big. We take a small brush, right? Actually, I'm gonna let that sit. Yeah. Okay, so I have not used my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in a while. This is NC50. I actually need to see what this color is gonna look like on my skin because I also purchased that in the summer. Okay, I'm gonna take a little synthetic. Actually, this is the Morphe 167. Let me see what this concealer looks like. This not really doing anything for me. Y'all know I like really, really bright. So I guess I'll just use this as my actual concealer. Right? And I'm gonna let that dry down a little. Let me put it everywhere like I normally do. Let me stop skipping steps because that's how your makeup don't come out right. Okay, so actually y'all. So this Pro Longwear Concealer, it dries down kind of fast, especially if you put a thin layer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out. And also with the Pro Longwear from MAC, if you wait too long to blend it out, you won't be able to blend it out. So. I'ma just go ahead and do that. Okay, then let's go ahead and blend out the bronze tour. I'ma start on the chin. And when I do it, I kinda like to give myself a little angular chin. very careful around my hairline so if you don't know I'm basically a blonde bat so I have to have like a really close mirror to see I do wear contacts but I'm still blonde so I have to get up real nice and close if you see something glaring that's what it is girl because I can't see so once I have this blended for the most part, I'm gonna take a flat top brush. This I got in that Morphe kit that I always talk about. I actually wanna get some brushes. I think I'm gonna do that today actually, <laughs> or sometime soon. Um, but once you go ahead and blend that out with a smaller brush, then you can take something bigger. And I'm really just doing this for my hair. Like I don't wanna, if I didn't have this hair, this hair color or style, I would just go ahead right in with this brush but I realized that I like to use this second. I like a smaller brush and then I like something bigger. And y'all know like for some reason with makeup, like you'll like something one day and then the next day you don't like it. Or like you'll like a technique one day and then the next day you don't like it. That's how I am. Like I just be flip flopping. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the Hydrating Camo Concealer again in the color Medium Warm. Usually I would go in my brows, but since I have them done already, I can't do that. So I just gotta get really close. Oh God, I already got some in my brow. I'm gonna hit that little chin area. So 
I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and then we'll go ahead and blend it out. All right, so I'm gonna start on my forehead. I gotta be real careful in this area because my brows are already done. Y'all see how I have like this harsh line on my forehead? That's when I go back in with my foundation brush and I blend down. Like, like this. Girl, I'm gonna have to redo my brows. That was such a waste of time. I am not a brow first lady. Like I cannot do, I don't know how I do this on clients. Anyway, <laughs> so I blend down. You can see. Cause I want it to blend into my skin. And then I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I use for my bronze tour. And again, being very careful near the hairline, but I'm doing this just so that I'm able to get a nice blend. So now that we got that all blended, I'm gonna work on the nose. And I realized that I like to do my contour, like my nose contour, after everything on my face is blended. Because for some reason, I always mess it up and I have to keep redoing it and keep redoing it. So I figure if I just wait until I'm done with my highlight and everything, it'll just be easier. So I don't have to keep redoing it and keep redoing it. Let's go ahead and tackle this under eye. I like to look down when I'm working on my under eye. It just makes it a bit more flat if you have like a creasy under eye. You look down and then tilt your eyes up into a smaller mirror like I'm doing here, you get a smoother blend. So that's one side, right? Take my bronzer brush. That looks so bomb. I can't wait to put lashes on. Fall is one of my favorite seasons. Fall and winter, I like the colder months. My birthday is in December. So I was, well I'm a Christmas baby really. I was born the day after Christmas. So I guess it just trickled into my adult life. Like I just really, really love the winter time. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye first. And to set my under eye, I'm gonna go ahead in with the Fit Me Matte and Poreless 360. Love this stuff for the under eye. Did not expect to like it this hard, but baby, I'm using it like every time I'm doing my makeup. And this is another brush that I got out of that Morphe brush set. I'll link it down below for you guys. But this powder, I like to do it with a brush. makes it look so smooth like I love this like girl tell me that I look smooth okay and then I'm gonna hit my forehead as well I'm gonna have to redo my brows or like touch them up because first of all I'm I'm really confused I don't know how I do this on clients like why, how do I do brows first? Hit the chin, everywhere that we highlight it. That's looking real nice and smooth. I am gonna do a little bit of baking, only because, ah, that's a lot. I need some brightness. That's all, and it got in my eye. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all 
y'all what I was using to bake. So I use a dry sponge. Um, and then I went in with the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the color 30. And I like this one because it's bright, um, but it still, it works. You know, it's bright, but it works. Okay, so now for some bronzer. All right, so I remember when I had this palette, I used to love using these middle shades for uh, like bl blush and bronzer. So today I'm gonna use No Beans as my bronzer. And I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of 10% off. So no beans and 10% off. On a big fluffy brush, just came in that Morphe set. Whoa. Drop something again. That's not even what I was saying whoa for. I was saying whoa because I haven't set the rest of my face. It's been too long. It's only been a couple days since I've done my makeup. What is going on? This is the Sephora Micro Smooth in the color Deep. I don't use too much. I just use enough so that the bronzer does not cling to any moist or wet areas on the face. All right, so now we can go in with bronzer. Now I haven't used these colors in a long time so I didn't load up the brush too much because if I don't like it anymore, yeah, but it's looking real pretty so far. Yes, I love it. Now I'm just going in with 10% off and kind of using that as a blush. I'm gonna wipe my brush off and go back in no beans and hit the forehead again. I don't know who I thought I was by doing my brows first. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and wipe this all off. I'm gonna wipe off that brush that I used to set my under eye initially. Go ahead and wipe away that powder. Y'all know I don't like to let it sit too long. This literally has only been sitting for like maybe four or five minutes. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with my bronzer brush. And I'm just using whatever is left on the brush not adding anything extra. Okay, so I know y'all are probably sick of me in this blush. Exhibit A from NARS. <gasps> Can't escape, it has me in a chokehold. I'm not gonna add too much blush, or maybe I'm lying, I don't know for sure. No, I think that looks great. But honestly, y'all, this blush really does have me in a chokehold. Like, it just does so well on my complexion. Can't escape. Okay, so I'm gonna pop some lashes on and then We'll get to the rest of the look. But let me put some lashes on so I can come alive. Okay. All right, so while this is drying down, we are gonna go ahead and get to the lip. Guess what? I don't like my lip combo. So we're taking it off. I don't think I like this either. I'm taking it all off. Okay, let's try this again. Trendsetter Lip Liner from Morphe.
blend it out. Maybe I should put less. I'm gonna take my black cocoa lip liner from Pixi, well eyeliner, and really overdraw my lips. I'm gonna do amber, the, what is this even called, girl? Lifter gloss, I actually really love this gloss. And we just gonna put this on top, cause this, I was feeling it and now I'm not. So, yeah, let's go. Let's do some highlighter. Cause I'm in that mood. I'm in that mood. All right, so typically I like to spray my face and then put the highlight on, but I'm actually not gonna do that today. I'm using my mystery highlighter from Makeup Revolution. Hit the tip of the nose. Oh, I gotta redo my brows too. That's cute. I'm cute. <laughs> what else did I need to do? Do I wanna do mascara? Do I wanna not do mascara? Let's spray the face to actually set it. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Love this stuff. I got the travel one. Let me see, let me see. Whoa. There we go. That would have been bad. What the? Okay, I love the way that smells. I'm really feeling like all of myself. Like, <laughs> I'm being silly. I'm done being crazy. This is the final look. I love it, I'm really feeling myself. I absolutely love the green. Now that I'm thinking about it, Shania has actually done a look like this on me and that's maybe why I was inspired to do the green because I know I like green on myself. But like, I'm just loving it. I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. <sighs> All right, y'all, so. This is, this is the finished look. I love it. I'm feeling myself as I always am. I did something different with my hair today. Um, so yeah, I'm loving it actually. Also, before we wrap up, I wanna say thank y'all so, so much for 600 subscribers. I'm super, super excited. My goal right now is a thousand because I really wanna start going live. So, yeah, let's get me to 1,000 subscribers. I hate to say it, but I don't even want to turn off the camera because I'm really feeling myself. Like, you see the material? <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and wrap this up because I've been staring at myself for way too long. <laughs> Thank y'all so, so much for watching. Thank y'all for tuning in. Please make sure that you are subscribed. Leave a comment down below, and of course, thumbs up this video. I will see y'all in the next one.